Jamie, you said that he had talked to you some about bullying. And, and can you tell us what that conversation was like and, and how, it, you know, I guess when you first heard something about it and, and kind of what that was like for you? Well, I had one episode in elementary school that he had came home and told me that um, this boy had actually physically pushed him. So I went to the school, spoke to the principal as well as the teacher, and that issue was resolved. And then when he went to middle school, he was convinced that, you know, it was just going to start all over again. And when I asked him, did he mention anything to any of the teachers, his words were, they're not going to do nothing knowing that my child was one of the ones that had to go through it. It's... <clears throat> the school took it too lightly. They did, they really did. You knew, I went, I went and spoke to them, spoke to the counselors, both guidance counselors. And Miss Perry tells me that, well, we can't protect every child. To me, that's nonsense. Why can't you protect every child? That's your job to protect them while they're there at school. If you can't protect them, then you need to you need to change something to where they can be protected. We can't be there with them in school all day long. So you know, we leave we leave our children in their care, trusting in them that they will be okay and took care of. And then Miss Malt tells me that. Well, she don't feel like the, there's no, the, no bullying at school. His problem's at home, you know, and, and that's not the case. You know, and Daniel has told him out of his own mouth and gave him names of kids. So, I mean, for them to tell me the problem's not at school, that it's at home, that's, to me, that's them trying to brush it under the rug and not take responsibility for their part in it.